How are you? Hope you're doing okay. Today's video is gonna be a Himigiri wardrobe video! Yay! I'm so excited and I'm so happy and I cannot wait to show you my Himigiri collection. If you're wondering where I buy my clothes from, please check out my blog. I have written so many articles about where you can buy um, brand items as well as like some other gear advice. So yeah, just head on over there. These are the items that I have slowly been collecting over the past year. I think my Hime Gyaru anniversary is actually a year ago. I, I, I've got um, a video of where I actually tried Hime Gyaru for the very first time, which I will link somewhere over here. So I'm just so, so happy and yeah, I just oh, can't wait to show it to you. Huge shout out to my friend Dala who has been a tremendous help in my Himegiru journey and she actually gave me the push to achieve my Himegiru dreams. I'm really sorry, I'm gonna ramble for a bit, but basically Himegiru was like the first uh, substyle that I fell in love with like more than 10 years ago, but I've been too scared to try it because I didn't know how to do the hair, the makeup, didn't know where to get the clothes. And um, when I told Dala this after doing that video, she was like, we gotta change this. So this is, all because of her, so huge, 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 huge shout out to her. Okay, without further ado, let's go. I am going to be splitting this video into chapters so that you could just jump straight through whichever section that you want to have a look at. But I think I'm going to start here with the tops. Um. I need more tops, uh, to be honest. Like, I spent the majority of the past year building up my dress collection, um, so I really, really need to buy some more tops. The first top we're going to have a look at is this one. Um, it's got a lovely heart detail over there, if you can see it properly. What I will do is I will put a photo somewhere here of the top so that you can appreciate it in its full form. Black is just such a nice colour for your Himegiru wardrobe. I think it's a colour that not many Himegiru wear, which is really, really surprising because I find that it's so much easier to wear like on a daily basis because you can like tone it down really easily with a pair of jeans or something. This is the second top. Again, it's another black top and I don't know if you can see properly, but it's got three lovely bows down the front. I don't think I've actually worn this yet, but I really, really do want to very soon. I'll probably uh, wear it more in like winter months, um, but it's super stretchy and it's made of a really thick winter material. So yeah, this is definitely more of a winter top. We then got this one, which is so gorgeous. Like look at the roses and it's a halter neck. I much prefer halter necks. I feel like they're more flattering for me, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. So I really, really do love this top. Um, there is gonna be a top that I'll show later on. Oh, where is it? Anyway, I'll, I'll show you later on. It's made out of that um, thick kind of winter material. I don't know why, but they seem to like using this thick material for their tops. Um, it's probably because uh, they're more likely to wear dresses throughout the year, but maybe they wear tops in the winter. I don't know, I'm just guessing over here. I wasn't actually too sure whether or not to include this one. Um, but it did remind me of the monotone dresses from, I think it was 2008, um, kind of Jesus Diamante era. Um, but I just, I just really like um, this silhouette. It's got a lovely bow around the middle and it's got lovely lace kind of details at the bottom. It's also got several layers and I think this will look so cute. Like if you, wanted to go a bit more casual, you could wear this with a pair of black trousers and maybe do up your hair all nice and pretty like this. Um, so it is incredibly 
versatile. Moving on, I'm actually going to jump through and show you the top that I was on about earlier. So this is the one in a kind of pink colorway. Oh, I adore this top. This is one of my favorite tops. Um, again, it's got that lovely rose pattern. Actually, I think now that I can compare the two, the rose patterns are actually slightly different. This is their iconic blurred rose pattern, I think it's called. And um, yeah, these roses are a bit more obvious, aren't they? That's it for the tops. Other than the top that I'm wearing right now, which again, I will put in a little picture over here so that you can see a clearer view of it. Um, and again, this is like that wintry material that I keep talking about um, for all the previous tops. So we are going to jump on to the Bolleros. Bolleros are just so important. They are absolutely essential to your Hime Gyaru wardrobe. So I've got one in black and then I'm obviously wearing this one which is in uh, like a creamy colour. Um, so yeah, I, I to be honest, I don't really think that you need to buy a lot of Bolleros, like one in the black and white colorway will be just fine because they'll go with literally everything. Um, but I really, really do love this Bollero. I'll try and like come closer so you can see it. It's got a beautiful like lace detail. It's also got these um, little like black pearl bits, um, which are actually the buttons. Um, are they? Are they but yeah, they are buttons because you can button this all the way. But actually, this is quite—it's quite loose, so they do—they <laughs> do keep opening. So I've just left it like this. But it's also got really, really lovely bows on it as well. And of course, yes, it's one of my favorite brand, Jesus Diamante. I just love Jesus Diamante. I feel like you're either a Jesus Diamante gal or a La Parfait gal. I'm definitely more of a Jesus Diamante gal. Um, if you don't know what I mean, I will upload some photos to illustrate the differences between the two types of Himegiru because yes, even though they are both Himegiru, there's just something different about them, okay? Like, you'll you'll see when I show you those photos. Even though I did say about the whole, like, you don't need a lot of bolleros because a black and a white one will be fine. I actually have this one as well that's in a baby pink colour because, I mean... I just love pink. I should actually maybe wear this instead of this white one. Let me just quickly change because <laughs> I actually prefer this. Oh yeah, this bolero is so much cuter with this outfit. So baby pink, it hasn't got quite as many bow details as um, the black and the white one, but I really love the um, lacy sleeves and um, it's actually, I think it's got some bows on the back. Can you see it? So it is really, really cute and I just love pink and the, it's times like this where I'm like, mm, maybe I like La Parfait a bit more because I just love pink. But maybe I'm a chameleon, maybe I'm a bit of both. Anyway, moving on. We finished having a look at the Bolleros. Now I do want to show you a hoodie because... So you don't see hoodies being worn a lot. Um, in Hime Gyaru, but there have been instances, okay, like I will show some pictures of some beautiful Hime Gyaru wearing hoodies. I just think that it's just so nice to be able to wear or be a Hime Gyaru, like for more casual days. Um, so I did buy myself a cute little hoodie. I am debating whether I should buy more, but because of the colour, it kind of goes with everything. Right, let me just show it to you properly. So this is the hoodie. Um, it's got really nice bow details. These are actually pockets, but they're so tiny, you can't really do anything with them. I just absolutely love the hood and it's in an absolutely gorgeous um, mint color. Okay, that's it for like the tops section we are now going on to the really exciting part which are the dresses oh I, I can't wait to show you i'm so excited okay let's have a look at this one this one sadly as you can probably tell 
<laughs> I haven't worn it yet. Um, I feel like it needs a little bit of altering so that I can fit into it better because I am super awkward and I'm actually in between sizes. Um, so I, but the thing is I, I didn't want to let go of it. Like I could easily just sell this. Um, but I would rather keep it and alter it to fit me a little bit better. Like it's only a little bit too small. Um, so I wonder if I could like cut down a size or something to add a bit more fabric. I don't know. It's going to be quite tricky, especially with a pattern like this. Um, so it's got a beautiful leopard print rose kind of pattern to my favorite things. Um, and it's not pink for once. I do hope that I can wear this soon once I've figured out how to alter it. If you if you have any suggestions, please let me know. It's just basically when I wear it, it's just a little bit tight under the arms, so I don't know whether to like take it to a seamstress to cut the straps a little bit to make it a bit longer. I don't know, but so please, please help me, okay? Moving on. This is a dress that I actually altered <laughs> um, to make it fit better. So this was a lot easier to alter because the original straps were really thin. So I just cut those straps and then like folded them and sewed them to create like bra hook things. And then I just bought these bar, bra, bar straps? Bra straps from AliExpress. I do have um, bra straps that are like loads and loads of little pearls, which would obviously look a lot better with this dress, but it isn't strong enough to hold on the hanger. But this is, oh. Right. We'll just wait a little bit. One eternity later. Right, where was I? Yes, this is my absolute favorite Jesus Diamante pattern. I really, really love the whole like, I want to say it reminds me of Versailles, like all the French cute little aesthetic. I just love it so much and it's tiered and it's got a little, um, the tulle kind of material underneath it. But despite the fact that this is one of my favorite dresses, I haven't worn it yet, but I'm, I'm saving it for my birthday, okay? Or at least like for a special event, you know, this, this dress deserves a special event. We are now delving in to the pink section of this Himegeru wardrobe, starting with this absolutely beautiful dress. Just look at it. Let's just appreciate just how beautiful this is. And it's a lovely, lovely light pink color. The pink's not too in your face. I love wearing this. I have worn this a few times. Um, and I just, oh, words cannot express just how much I love this dress. Wait, no, hold on. This one's my favorite dress. <laughs> Not those, no, wait. They're all my favorite dresses. But, ta-da! This is one that I didn't have to alter because it just fits so well. It's actually a super comfortable Himegeru dress, which I think is quite a rarity, like, quite a lot of Hime Gal dresses. They're not very comfortable. But this one I can stay in all day long. It combines all of my favorite things. It combines the pink, it combines the roses, and it combines leopard print. I absolutely adore this dress so, so much. This is a very recent purchase. Um, again, it has roses. I have a problem. I, I just love floral worlds, okay? It's got really, really lovely big bows down the front. What I love is that it's got adjustable straps so I do not have to worry about altering anything. It's a very similar material to this one that I was showing earlier so more um, suitable for spring summer and I love the fact that oh, I can't oh, I'm not tall enough but ah it's falling but this pattern the fabric on this pattern is shorter than the pink so there's like a little tiered thing oh my gosh i am really trying to stretch so yeah i yeah i believe i wore this um for my birthday last year and um it's just so so lovely <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna repeat myself when i say 
that I love this dress because it combines my favourite things. It's got the pink, it's got the leopard print, and the roses! <laughs> it's quite different to the previous dresses I've shown because this is more of a halter neck, but I love the frilly details over here. It's just really, really, really nice. It also has a bow around here, which is on a safety pin, so I can just remove it whenever I want to, but I think because it's been there for a while, um, is actually, I probably shouldn't remove it. I don't know, because it is creating quite a bit of a hole. This dress was one of the first ones that I bought, and I was so gutted because I couldn't fit into it. So yes, this has been altered because I couldn't bear the thought of letting it go. Um, so I just made it fit me. <laughs> um, again, bows down the front, rose details round here. I don't know if you can see it properly. Oh, my blush is actually showing up all right in this video. So what I did, I took it to the seamstress, obviously, because I, 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 I can't sew to save my life. But they did like a corset lacing on the back so I can adjust it. Uh, can you can you see that so yeah so I can adjust it to fit me which is great if I want to eat lots of food so I can just loosen it at the back <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm really out of words to say about these dresses because I just love them all so so much uh, yeah this dress is actually from New York it's a uh, dress that my sister bought for me a very 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 long time ago and I love this dress however I wanted to make it more suitable for my Himegiru wardrobe so I have sewn on these cute little bows that I bought from Aliexpress and I think they just really really complement this dress really well it's because it's like more um casual kind of material if you know what i mean can't really explain it um i didn't want to go too ott with um the diy sort of thing because i was tempted to have like little bows all around the sleeves but i was like nah you know what i'll just leave it like this and i think it just works really really well not too sure whether to regard this as a more casual dress but it's definitely an unusual one. I say that because I normally stick to the florals or the leopard prints but this one has like a cherry print and it has this cute little blue uh, frilly detail down the like middle and along the bottom and check out these buttons the heart shaped buttons how cute <laughs> I don't know how people do wardrobe posts. I'm really, really tired of running out of breath. But let's get going. I promise we're nearly at the end. Okay, we're not nearly at the end, but we're getting there. This is also a, what I call an off-brand dress because this is from uh, Chi Clothing, Chi London, whatever they're called. And this is where the Hime Gero journey Began. Yes, this was the dress that I wore when I tried Hume Gero for the first time last year and I cannot part with it. I saw this dress and it really reminded me of um, Jesus Diamante. I think this dress here is like a perfect example. Um, and I, I knew I had to have it and that was the first step I took towards achieving my Hume Gero dreams. It is such a good length and it's such a beautiful colour. It's not quite pink, not quite purple, um, but I love the little silvery threads that they've used. Um, I just, mm, it's so beautiful. This is another colour that I don't usually wear. Um, and I've had to fold this dress like this because this is another one that I had to cut the straps off. Um, but I use the straps for this dress <laughs> um, but yeah it is this kind of style I will upload a photo so that you can see it better but um, again I would combine this with the pearl bra straps that I bought it really reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast it is so beautiful I would love to get this in different colorways but then I just can't be bothered to deal with the altering of the straps, so maybe not. 
This one is very similar to um, the very first dress that I've shown. It's actually um, the same silhouette, it's just got a different pattern. So this has a rosy pattern. Rosy? This has a rose pattern and it's in a beautiful baby blue colour. And I have the same problems with this as I do with that first dress. It fits me. Well, it doesn't quite fit me. It's a bit too small on me. So if you have any advice on how to alter it, that'll be fab. This will be so perfect with even this bolero. I think this will go really well. What do you think? Um, sorry, I'm slowly losing my energy. And oh, oh no, I'm getting attached. Let's put that back before I cause more damage. This is another recent purchase, so I haven't been able to wear it yet, but it is thick. It is so heavy. Definitely more of a winter dress. Um, when I first bought it, I thought that this had um, adjustable straps, but it actually doesn't. It's all like sewn in place, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to alter it. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's kind of sparkly. Can you see that? If you can't, I'll, I, I, I mean, I don't know how else to show you really, but it's got lovely pearl buttons all the way down. It has so many layers and it's got a really nice bow on the front and then on the back it's got this lovely corset kind of detail I don't know if you can see it in the camera very well oh my gosh my arm's actually getting quite tired so I'm gonna put that back right okay we've only got a few more dresses to go now if you know me you would know that I never wear this color I don't actually have any like silvery kind of colors because I'm more of a gold colors kind of gal kind of reminds me of um you know the flapper style like 1920s kind of style with all the tiered levels and it's got shimmery detail to it if you can see oh actually the camera's picking up quite nicely this is definitely more of a like evening party kind of dress um i actually have the perfect occasion in mind to wear this too so you'll be seeing it very actually wait when is it Okay, you might not be seeing me wear it as soon as I thought, but you will see me wear it sometime. Whew, okay, what have we got here? We have this one. It is so pretty. I'm running out of things to say to describe my dresses other than they're just so pretty, okay? Um, again, bow on the front. Something tells me that I like. <laughs> um, but it's got lovely 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 rose pattern and it's got cute little hearts which are like kind of glittery it's so cute and it's also got um this ribbon around the waist so i've seen uh this being tied around the front so they would have like two bows but i think i prefer it if i tied it around the back to like kinch the waist in a little bit it is a lot thinner in terms of material compared to the previous one so this is definitely a summer dress okay i promise this is the last dress i'm getting really tired now but um oh, sorry uh we have this one i've worn this so many times because i just yes because i love it i really really like this neckline it has a bow obviously and just look at the details on the back it has a ruffle but not too sure if you can see it there we go it has a ruffle but it's got the bow and then it's got the boop, 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 boop. oh boy okay um we've done the tubs we've done the dresses i think we should now move on to bottoms so i would love to show you <laughs> What am I wearing on the bottom but you won't be able to see it but I'm basically wearing um, some trousers. <laughs> yes, um, I I love these trousers. I can't get, I need to find something else to say other than the fact that I love this item. But you don't really see trousers being worn a lot in Himego. Um so I was very, very surprised when I found um, I didn't expect to find them, um, so I snapped it up as soon as I saw it. It's got the iconic blurry rose pattern.
pattern and lovely, lovely, lovely frilly bits on the bottom. Okay, let's uh, move on to the other bottoms. We are going to start off with this skirt. It is so cute. I love it so much. Um, if you are wondering what brand it is, I'm really sorry. I don't know because it actually doesn't have any labels at all. Um, but wherever it's from, it is beautiful. And it's got the ruffle butt. You're gonna hear me saying that a lot. It just really adds that volume. Um, and what's also really, really good about this skirt is that it has a short, so I don't have to worry about showing, about any um, indecent thing. This is just the pink version of that skirt I've just shown you. I think I prefer the pink, but then I'm very biased. I, I just love pink. But let's look at the ruffle butt. Isn't it so cute? I love it so much. I think it would go really nicely with this top that I've got on actually if I wanted to go down a more casual route. The only sad thing is though is that it's a bit broken over here but we won't look too closely because yeah I'll just cover it up with my hand. <laughs> I love my skirt. I okay disclaimer I, I am just gonna show you skirts. I other than the trousers that I'm wearing they're all skirts. But check out this one. It's gorgeous. And I love that it's got hearts in. I think they're hearts. Yeah, they're hearts. But like roses forming the cute little hearts. And the lace detail is so pretty. And it's just got so much volume. And this is all because of the ripple butt. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just can't get over how cute this is. Um, I cannot wait to wear this because yes. At the time of recording this video, I sadly haven't had the chance to wear this, but you can bet I will be wearing it very soon. I wasn't actually too sure about this skirt when I um, first bought it because I'm just not used to long length skirts. Like, I don't know, I, I, it, I feel like it kind of makes me look short, which is strange because obviously the dresses that I've shown you, they're all quite long. But I decided to keep it anyway because because of the fact that it's a lot longer, so I could probably get away with wearing it, like, you know, to some posh functions where they might um, faint at the sight of a short skirt. It's got a bow. And it's also got that, it's kind of like a ruffly back, but it's not quite so obvious as the previous skirts. I'm just going to show you these skirts at the same time because they're basically the same thing just in different colours um but it's this one you've probably have seen me wear this so many times this was the one that i bought first and because i just wore it so much because i'm really into hime kaji as well as hime kero i decided that it would be ideal if i bought the black colorway and i was right i wear these all of the time especially if i've got a fancier top like if i was wearing um you know this rosy one I, it will just go so so well together and like i said i wear this in my Himi Kaji looks as well so they're just really really versatile i would highly recommend um if you are starting out in Hime Kaji or Hime Kiru just finding a skirt that looks like this because they will just go with absolutely every outfit okay that is it from the dresses the tops and the bottoms section but we are not quite done yet we're going to look at the coats which you have seen over on the side this whole time most of the dresses and the tops were bought over the past year um apart from stuff like that dress which i've had for ages and ages but this is one that i've had in my wardrobe for a long time it is definitely a winter coat because it is quite thick and it is a lovely lovely length like this looks so good with cute little short skirts but it also looks really good with long um dresses as well another coat that i've worn so many times in my himekati outfits and it's actually really heavy so i won't be holding this for long is this one this one is so old <laughs> i've worn this so many times i 
just can't let go of it. I have contemplated whether I should upgrade it and buy another um, coat that's similar, but I just can't let it go. And it isn't falling apart just yet. I'll probably sell it, not sell it. I'll probably get rid of it once it's like literally on the last threads. <laughs> but it just goes so well. You probably can't tell from the um, camera but it's kind of like a creamy colour and I literally live in it over the winter time oh boy okay here we go here we go here we go ta-da oh no ta-da this is my spring coat so you got little like bows for the pockets um but you also have the bow on the back with this whole tiered thing going on so it checks all the boxes of being a Himegyaru item. I have yet to wear it, but I can guarantee I will be wearing it quite a lot. That's it for my coats. <sighs> okay, what have we got next? Oh yes, the shoes. Not gonna lie, haven't got many shoes, so don't worry, this section will be very quick. But, ta-da! These shoes are actually from Primark. Um, they're actually, you know, the plain dollies, but I just cut off the bow that was on here and then got one of these shoe clips to make it Himegeru. Yeah, you don't have to buy really fancy Himegeru shoes. You could literally customise a pair of old dolly flats and put some bows on and voila, it is Himegeru. But I did buy these specifically for my Himegeru wardrobe. Um, they're from Shein. Um, I don't actually buy a lot from Shein, but these are gorgeous. I couldn't pass up on them, so I got them in pink and in black so that they go with everything. Here is another example of my camera dying. What is going on over here? Okay, I think we still got time, don't worry. But this is another example of boring shoes but they just work so well with Hime Ghetto and I think it helps because of the bow. I cannot wait to wear these with that blue dress once I've figured out how to alter it because I just I just love this colour so much. I really do wish that I had more blues in my wardrobe um because I I, I mean I love pink but I kind of want other colours as well. <gasps> Speaking of pink, ta-da aren't these the most beautiful shoes that you have ever lied, uh, laid eyes on. As you could probably tell from the previous shoes I've shown you, I don't really wear heels. I have long accepted the fact that I just can't wear heels and I just... Uh, if I can find cute, comfortable flat shoes, then I will obviously go with them. These aren't flat, but they have such a low heel that it doesn't really hurt me or anything. And they've got really, really cute bow details on the back. Not <laughs> bow and pearl details on the back, sorry. As well as the front and the whole lacy thing going on if the camera can focus on the shoes instead of my face. My last pair of shoes! And these are like super old, so I probably won't show it too closely to camera. But ta-da! I got these when we went to Japan in like 2017. Um, but I think they work really, really well with Himegeru because of the pearl details on the straps. I wear this Actually, you can wear this with like loads of sort of styles of gyaru. You can wear it for hime gyaru, you can wear it for hime kaji, you can wear it for one, you can wear it for agajo. Loads of things. I just love it when you can find things that are like super versatile. That's the end of the shoe section. Okay, um, let's move on to the bag. The first bag, it is Jesus Diamante bag. Can you tell that I really like their blurred rose print? It's a really nice bag, but you can't actually fit a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> but it's cute, so it can get away with it. Although not stereotypically Hime Gero, I have to include this bag. I've had this bag for goodness knows how long. I cannot remember what year I bought it, but you might be wondering why I included this in my Hime Gero wardrobe. And there are two very important points. One, I absolutely love my melody and two, lots of Himegiru love my melody as well. So it's a win-win situation. You see 
my melody being um, incorporated in a lot of like the La Parfait kind of style of gal and I just mm, I love her so much I just could not not include her in my Hime Gyaru wardrobe going back to the more stereotypical Hime Gyaru bags ta -da, it is huge but I haven't been able to use it yet because because this has been in storage um, for so long so the previous owner actually wrapped the straps in like a plastic material and I think <laughs> condensation got caught in it so these straps I don't know if you can hear that but they're kind of sticky so I'm kind of airing them out a little bit before I actually use it because when I first got it and first took off the plastic wrapping my fingers actually warped the plastic which is really bad um, so I'm not going to use this just yet ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, we got this bag you have probably seen this bag a lot of times I have done a um, Hime Kaji bag collection video um, where I did feature this but isn't it just so beautiful how could you not include it in a uh, Hime Gero wardrobe. Oh, I'm slowly running out of energy. But this is the last bag. It's, it's more casual than the previous bags. It's probably better suited for a Hime Kaji wardrobe, but I have seen Hime Gero use basket bags. Um, is it a basket bag or a straw bag? I don't know what's the better term for it. Um, but I do use them. I do see them use them. See? them they're in a lot of summer outfits okay and um so i did want to include this regardless oh boy okay that's it we are done we are finished with my hime ghetto wardrobe now you might be wondering why i didn't include an accessory section but that's because i feel like i don't really have much of a collection to show you like I've got this bow that I'm wearing in my hair but other than that I mean I've got a few but uh, just maybe next time okay maybe I'll do a video completely dedicated to Hime Giru hair accessories we'll just leave it for now okay thank you so 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 much for watching this video I'm just so happy that I have been able to share my Hime Gyaru wardrobe and I cannot wait to slowly get more items like I really really want to get more tops like this that I can wear like on a daily basis can you imagine being an everyday princess I, I'm really really tired now I cannot believe I managed to film this video in one sitting <laughs> but I want to say again thank you so so much for watching this video and I just hope you have an amazing rest of the day love you bye